Um, so we're going to work a little bit with what's called gesture drawing. Um, gesture drawing is a process of drawing where you work as fast as you can and you don't worry about details as much as drawing the basics of what you see. So if I'm going to start just like by drawing, say, a glass, I might look at it and go, is it taller than it is wide? How big is the top of the rim from my viewpoint? And I'll get some basic, very fast, roughed in lines going. And you don't, you don't go back and erase. You just, when you're doing gesture drawings, you just fly with what your gut instinct tells you. You're not worrying about a bunch of shading. You can put in a little bit if you want to, just to help yourself see something. Um, and as I said, you don't really erase. You might go back in and darken something up, but you don't really erase. And it's just how fast can you get in the basics of what's there. And then we're going to move on and take that over to something that's much more complex. So in this case, I'm going to look at um, just a dancer. And I might start with something that looks a lot like a stick figure. Um, I'll look at the backbone. You know, what's the angle from shoulders to hips? Uh, how much of the shoulder can I see on one side versus the other? What's the angle of the hip? I look at the uh, long bones of the arm. And how those are broken up. I look at the long bones of the leg. And then I'll go back in and sort of start fleshing it out. So I might look at maybe the, the hip area and figure out how wide is the hip compared to, um, in this case, I've chosen a male dancer. So I look at how broad the shoulder is in comparison. I look at the underlying shapes. Where are the muscles? Where are the joints? Come down into the leg. Dancers are a good subject. They have a lot of muscle that you can really easily see and kind of translate anatomically.
and they usually have fairly close fitting clothes so you can see the the musculature the underlying structure of things pretty easily And I'm not worried about it being perfectly accurate. I'm doing the best I can in a very short period of time. And that's kind of the point. Um, it's how much can you get done in 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes, five minutes. Um, and how accurate can you get? and you just gradually work into more and more and more detail, um, the more time that you actually have to spend on it. We're going to do some gesture drawing for the next day or two.